Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the properties of logarithms. So this is the first part. I'm going to have a second and a third part on this. Um, that we'll talk about the properties of logarithms. So I will put the uh, videos, I mean the link of those videos in the description box below. So the first property here, we have a product property. So whenever two logarithmic expressions are added, their argument, argument is the ones inside the parentheses. So their argument will be multiplied together. And it, the quotient property is whenever we have two logarithmic expressions subtracted together, then their argument will be divided. So x divided by y. By the way, just a reminder, this uh, product property and quotient property works only if both of their bases are the same. So if both numbers right here are the same. Okay, let's have some examples to see how this um, properties work. So let's take the log of eight. So how do we, um, how can we expand log of eight using the product property? So this can actually be rewritten as log of four plus log of Two, four times two is eight. Now, others are gonna say, how do we know if we uh, if we uh, got it right? So I have here a calculator. Let's put these values in. So if I have um, log of eight, that's the number. That's the value right there for log of eight. Now I am going to do this: log of four plus log of two their answer should be a match because they're the same. And so their answers are the same, okay? Now let's have, what could be other numbers that could, that could be used in here? So there's gonna be a long list of numbers for this log of eight. It's gonna be a lot. I can have log of one plus log of eight, uh, whatever it is, it's gonna be a long list of numbers. I can also have decimals here. So let's take some decimal examples. If I have log of, 6.4 plus log of 1.25 is equal to log of 8. So let's check that this one again. So log of 8, so that's the number right there. Now if I have a log of 6.4 plus log of 1.25, is the same number right there. They're a match because 6.4 times 1.25 is eight. So you can actually have a long list of numbers for this. Now let's have here the next one using the quotient property. So I can also equal this to, let's say, um, to have a, when I divide two numbers, it's eight. So I can go ahead and say log of, let's say 16 minus, log of two. 16 divided by two is eight. Now let's check this one using the calculator. So I go ahead and put log of eight, and that's the number that we got for log of eight. Now let's uh, let's simplify this, let's put this into the calculator to see if they're equal. So that would be log of 16 minus log of two, and the answers are a match. So these are equivalent expressions. They're all equal to log of eight. I can also have here um, um, decimals. So I can have log of 12 minus log of 1.5. That is still equal to log of Eight. So let's check this um, problem again. So I have log of 12 minus log of 1.5. And so the answer is still the same for all of them. It's just equal to log of 8. So this means that there's like a lot of combinations that we can have out there. This also works with those that are having bases on them. So let's take this as an example. So it's pretty much the same thing, but the only difference is that the base here is 10 and then the base here is four. So I can have this as log of, let's say uh, three plus log of five to the base four for all of these. 
Okay, so let's check using the calculator here. So I have log of, so that's log base of four. So the base is four. And then it's the argument is 15. And then, so that's the number right there. Now let's put this in. So that's log base of the base is four. And then the argument is three plus, and then log base. This is gonna be four, and then I'm gonna have five here. So let's see if the answers are a match. And they are a match. So it doesn't matter if the base is 10 or if the base is whatever. The, uh, the, the same rule would apply. So let's take some more examples here. So I can also have here log of, you can have decimals. Again, there's a lot of combinations that we can have here. Log of 1.5 to the base four, plus log of, that's gonna be 10 to the base four, because you have 1.5 times 10 is 15. Now let's have some examples for uh, using the quotient property. So I can go ahead and write this to, to get, when, when I divide it, it's 15, so I can go ahead and say log of 30 to the base four minus log of 30 to make it 15, so that's log of 2 to the base 4. So if I have 30 divided by 2 is 15. And then I can have one more example here. So I can have log of 7.5 to the base 4 minus log of 0 0.5 to the base 4. They're all because 7.5 divided by 0 0.5 is 15. Again, we can have a long list of numbers that we have here. I'm just showing you too. It's like a numerous numbers of number combinations that we can have using the product and quotient property. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.